Right, hello and welcome to, well, the EEPROM 9, where we have pens, where we can draw on stuff, uh, draw on stuff, and it's not doing, but we can rub it out because they've got a little rubber on the end. They're kind of cool, but that's not what we're all on about today. Today is the three months, longer way to probably four months now, response to Jamie Gray's 83's thing. How to get more views, subscribers, discussion, because that's what it is. And here's what I put, uh, and there's what I put if you can read that in the resolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone will be able to read that, won't they? Yeah, they will. Because, well, you've got better vision. Well, Sam, what the fuck am I on about? I don't know, I don't know where I was going with that one. Yeah. Anyway, back on the subject. That's the thing. How to really get more popular? It all depends. It's a very open-ended question. Because there's one point where you can leap on the popular bandwagons and discussions that get all the views. Whether it be news topics going on in the world or topics going on within a particular community. And there's another point where you just have the right charisma, which I think is a lot how the sus channels which have bazillions of subscribers and they have their vlogs where they discuss absolutely nothing useful. And you do wonder how they get that, <laughs> quite honestly. And they just seem to have that charisma that works with the majority, really and good for them, because I just personally find that boring. Or maybe you can do a, a like niche comedy thing like the Annoying Orange has, I'm sure you've all at least heard of that one. But, well with that one I find the kind of trouble with it is in the name. It's more fun to annoy someone else than watch someone else annoy someone. It's one of those things that the odd episode can actually be quite entertaining, but it's not something I want to obsessively watch. But still, good high production value. I'd love to know how they do some of the editing. But there's also the tactic of originality. It's difficult to do something original. And let's be honest, we're all guilty of nicking ideas here and there. I will not say I don't do that because I bloody do and I'm pretty, there should be enough of you who might pick up on whether it be an old reference, maybe a particular mannerism of someone I've sort of borrowed and made my own. Although that one's more rare, I sort of just take an idea and add my own mannerism to it. Like with my latest ST Dragon review, I based what I did very much on what LGR does. You might notice some similarities in the stylings, but yeah, I've still got a lot of work to do there. It's a good first attempt though for a first review. Proper review, not one of my point, at point camera at CRT flicker fest pile of shite ramble and I will splice in some footage of the absolute worst one, which is also on my absolute worst game. Whereas you can do something more original, where you where you can look at something like my intro, which you have watched coming in, and also I'll splice in the Acon Electron animation somewhere about here. And so you should be back from the Acon Electron stop frame. And you know what really helps? And there's one else thing that really helps that I've noticed getting on any social medium thing, whether it be Facebook, if you dare go on there, Twitter, I'm not a big fan of Don't get it, I don't like Facebook, I still dislike it. It's more my mum I have to blame for being on Facebook. She was the one who was like pressing me on there, I was like, I don't want to! But she won that one. I suppose it's had its uses. Pretty much arranging sex. <laughs> And of course, then, and you pretty much 
spam what you did. I did this with the Acorn Electron stop frame animation. I did it with my recent take up of the ST Dragon review. I also I'm sweating, it's a bit hot and humid in here. I may have to open a window. In fact, I'm going to open a window because it's too humid. Hang on, bear with me. That's better. Let the cold air come in from outside and then make the room too cold. That's the way it goes. But that's the tactic I also did with the electron stop frame animation and that particular video. Even Mr. Ben Waste's page, Facebook page was not spared. But the Electron Stop Frame, I even promoted it on Mr. VX, because Mr. VX used to do about a weekly live chat. I'm not quite sure why he has stopped that. The thing's still on his website, but he hasn't done one in a long time. I do miss those. I enjoyed them thoroughly, but I can understand why he doesn't necessarily have the time to do it. Because fitting in time for such things is not always easy. But they were always fun. And I posted a link on there. <laughs> and that sort of went sort of viral within my own area. And otherwise it got above 100 views at this particular time. But bearing in mind this was the point where I was at like 32 subscribers I created. This Electron Stop Frame animation. And it getting above 100 views was amazing. It went and literally went to be my most viewed video which if we get to the analytics side so we'll go for all these bloody links and find where the hell it ties it uh, da -da -da. analytics there we go come on respond oh, man come on da -da -da -da. Uh, if we go to lifetime then we go to uh, views, to do the views, yeah, that's it. We get a list of them, and the electron stop frame animation is currently at 2,650 views. That's a lot. But has recently, only recently, been overtaken by my Atari S520 STFM review which is at 2,782. It's made quite a substantial leap above it. And um, below that is the how to use your oscilloscope usage debug tutorial. I can kind of see why that particular one has got a lot of views because once again it's one of those areas that's another thing. This leaves me in videos on areas which aren't covered by anyone else. If you can do those, whether it be on a particular machine, as the Atari ST, not many people do reviews of the ST, you won't find many of the, of the actual machine, I think there was about two videos before, it was like some random person, and LGRs, and now mine's up there, and I don't know what's up there now, but I'm imagining it's not amazing in choice, because, well, mine has recently overtaken the stock frame. Although there is a little thing you do need to be aware of is that you will get the people come along and you it the you the favourite one of them to throw at you is either homophobic or slightly racist abuse. There's even someone who even set up a fake channel just to be apparently be a pain in the arse. I just laughed and then blocked them because block them before they become annoying. Block them while they're still funny, basically. Kill it while they're still funny. That's my lot. That's why I go. I just find the whole thing of trolls quite amusing, personally. That there's someone who actually dedicates time to trying to diss you. How sad is that? Personally, I wouldn't worry about it. You can block them. You know, it might get some with some intelligence come by, but they're still an arrogant ass. But that one's. The memory card being rude there was both a uh, curse and a blessing at the same time. Upon my database notes, I noted down some uh, all of them. And as I said, to summarise the five top five points, which is top five things that can make you more popular and more viewed. 
jump on the bandwagon of some popular subject. Have a super high charisma. This is one you have to be born with. So, this one isn't good for everyone. Anyone can do this one. Originality. Once again a difficult one to do in this day and age, but it is possible to pull off. Spam your content everywhere. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, the ones I did that on, that worked quite nicely. And do something that's desired and needed that no one else has done, such as an oscilloscope tutorial. Well, there isn't much point doing this. Well, there is actually. Oscilloscope tutorials actually go on to how to use an oscilloscope rather than just like, this is what all these controls do. Approach a problem from a different angle, basically, that no one else has taken. That the particular oscilloscope video was actually inspired by Mr. VX, who recently got a video oscilloscope and didn't know how to use it. And I did that video to help him out, basically. It's funny that some videos I do for people, I do them like instantly within the day they ask. Others, it can be months down the line. Others are even longer. I swear there's still some requests I still need to do, but I've forgotten what they are. So if you send any requests, so this is a good point actually. If you've sent me any past requests and I haven't done them, remind me because I cannot remember any more from previously sent through. That's what I say because I've forgotten what they are. So remind me if you've got any requests that should be pending from me, and I'll do my best to actually get them done at some point in the near future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I do hope you enjoyed. Now let's show you a pen that you can rub stuff out. It's kind of cool. We oh shit, I just tore the paper. There we go. At least it wasn't the page I drew the robot on. It's not uncommon. <laughs> Looks a bit like Short Circuit actually. I really need to see that film. I haven't seen it for years. Absolutely years. So, for now, goodbye. And I hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored and switch off like the majority of people I do according to the YouTube statistics do. Uh, quite often it's less than 10% that continue to watch to the end. So are you part of that 10%? Or are you part of the 90% that gets bored and buggers off elsewhere? Thanks for watching! Uh, yeah, this would be one of those points where someone puts this in their bloopers at the end of the video. And that, so it pretty much comes down to a few things really to sort of summarise. You've got, you can follow the bandwagon, you have to be, you can be born with a super high charisma that everyone likes, uh, the majority of us aren't blessed with such skills, and I am especially not blessed, blessed with such skills of a high charisma, I'd say my charisma is probably about two. And that's on the Fallout 3 spec where you've got like 1 to 10 or whatever it is. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, do something unique. Promote and spam the arse off every single social medium you've got. And number five. Clear my throat. Buggery, I've forgotten what number five is.